Ooh, welcome back, everybody. How about we tackle Gobi's Valley? So, to officially beat this level, first thing we want to do is turn around and get the yellow Jinjo. Come here and go ahead and talk to this guy, although you don't have to. And come across here to get these notes. You'll meet our first mummy hand, which you can beat by baiting him into slamming down and then ground pounding. Get these notes. And then we're going to climb up by jumping over here. Jumping up these. Ignore the flight pad for now. And instead go up here. And we're gonna get that mumbo token on the tip of his nose. And then jump to one of these cacti. And we're gonna unclog his nose. Remember the trick of holding the trigger and the bumper at the same time so you can center the camera, show where you're aiming, and you only need to shoot one egg in each nostril. And then jump to the other side. And then jump down. And enter. Before we jump on this first carpet, we want to get these notes in the four corners of the room. And the mumbo token, but be wary of the mummy hand and that'll pop out. Okay, so the idea of this room is we jump on these flying carpets and we're going to shoot an egg into the sphinx on the wall, which will raise the carpet and we want to continue that chain, but before you do this first one, jump backwards for the yellow gin or er, orange ginger. Now, we will head across all the carpets. The time in which the carpet stays at the top of its climb shortens with each carpet. So make sure you speed up. See what I mean? And we get our first Jiggy! Jump down. And exit. We're gonna climb back over the Sphinx, but instead of going all the way up, we're gonna jump to those galoshes and use them to get these notes and a mumbo token. You can get that extra life over there if you want, but you can't do all of them in one trip. So if you get the extra life back there, you'll have to come back, get the galoshes again.
then we're gonna come this way. Ignore those notes for now. And the scarab, but we're gonna come to the right. And we're gonna get these notes. Which you do by carefully trotting up the railing. Or down the railing. And now we're going to come to this platform. So when you jump on this platform, the sphinx starts moving. We want to shoot some eggs into its mouth. We need three total. Which raises the pyramid slightly. And makes a new face appear. So on our way to the new face, we want to collect these notes. If you fall down into the snake pit, you've got flight pads at each wall. So quickly run over and fly up. back, grab more notes. And then we're going to jump back, and now we can go grab these notes on the way to the pyramid. Climb on top of the pyramid as well to grab the mumbo token. And then enter the pyramid. Get the notes on the way, and then we'll have a maze that the minute you enter, a, the ceiling will start to descend, and if you don't reach the end quickly enough, you'll be crushed and have to start over. And the witch switch is in here, so to beat this area, come, let's get it started, come this way, around the U-turn here, and come into this way, don't go forward. Go forward here, though, and then over, and then now we go straight, and then around the edge, and there's the witch switch. And then we want to come this way, and around, and around here, and then this way to the exit. In here you get a jiggy. And as you might be able to hear, there's a Jinjo in one of the vases. I believe it's the one behind the thing. But there's also a mumbo token and a gold feather that you can get. Two gold feathers. So leave here. And let's go back to this other pyramid. Now we want to get the notes on top of this pyramid. 
And don't hit this switch just yet. Instead, we're going to hit that switch back there and slowly climb down for the green Jinjo. Don't go too quickly and make sure you're talon trotting. Otherwise, you'll slide down the side and land in the snake pit. Eel pit, I guess, is what it is. Slam this switch and it makes the first extra honeycomb appear. Now we're going to go back up the pyramid and hit this switch. The reason we didn't do it first is because it's on a timer for that door. So immediately start heading this way and inside. Now, in here you've got notes, you got a mumbo token, and you have a puzzle. But the puzzle is made difficult by this mummy. And mummies cannot be killed normally. They can only be stunned. So, the way to kill them permanently is to activate the gold feathers to get rid of them. Get the mumbo token, get the notes, and now we're going to play a game of memory. When you ground pound one of the tiles, a timer starts and it flips over to reveal an image. Our goal is to match every pair of images until before the timer runs out. So we got a note, I like to do it systematically. A note in banjo, and honeycomb, and egg. Kazooie, Mumbo, Redfeather, Kazooie. So there was the Kazooie. Red feathers was here. Note was back here. Banjo was back here. Honeycomb was here. Yellow Jinjo. Oh, hey. Blue egg was back here. Which means this has to be the last one. With that, leave the pyramid. Now we're gonna come around to the side of it to get some more notes. And we're gonna wait for this carpet to disappear and then it'll reappear and we wanna jump on it. You wanna jump on it as it's flickering like that. It's solid as it's flickering and the minute it stops flickering, it disappears. Or it starts moving, so jump on as it's flickering. And here's the titular Gobi, which he wants to be freed, which we can do by ground pounding this boulder. And we get our next Jiggy. So now, we're gonna patiently wait for the carpet again. It'll disappear, and then reappear, jump on it. Jump off it. We're gonna head this way. Ignore that guy. Or kill him if you want, it's up to you. But what we're gonna do is get these galoshes. Well, maybe kill that guy if he's giving you trouble. use these to come down here and get all these notes in the quicksand. Aha. And then we want to backtrack to where we just were. If you try to get this, it disappears too quickly. What you have to do is come back to here, ignore the galoshes, and go up this hill for some speed shoes and some more notes. We're going to grab the speed shoes and use them to get that jiggy. Mm-hmm. 
괜찮아. Come get this mumbo token. And before you step on that switch, you don't have to ground pound it, you just have to step on it. But avoid doing that for right now. And instead, climb up these. this pyramid and get these notes. It'll alternate between notes, eggs, and feathers. But you want to get all the notes. And the reason for this is. You're going to use the speed shoes to come up with this pyramid in a sort of time trial and enter the top top hatch here. And you really need to cut corners. And if you're going wide to get these notes, you're not going to get to the top in time. So take the time to go ahead and get the notes now. Ouch. ouch. And then we can activate the switch. So we're going to hit the shoes and book it. run over the switch and the issue is you use up like a good five seconds of the timer just watching this animation try to stick to the corners you see that right there might have been enough for me to fail we'll see the hard part is stopping right at the top don't rush in as fast as possible because the hatch will start to close and as it is moving at its fulcrum kind of it'll catch you so you really need to drop right at the edge that's facing the rest of the level so that you can drop in it's might gonna take you a couple of tries but just keep at it and eventually we'll get in and before you dive under the water make sure you come to the left to get this mumbo token because if you get this jiggy first, it'll drain the water, and then you can't get the mumbo token. I like to get rid of these mummies. Makes it easier to get these notes. And now we can exit. And we want to slide down into the moat that we just created. Now that the quicksand is gone, we can swim down and we want to grab these notes. There's a mumbo token and there's also the green and last Jinjo. Or maybe it's the blue one. Blue one. All the way back to the beginning. And we find Gobi again. jump on his hump and ground pound and it gives water to the tree so unfortunately this is a tree you can't climb so what you have to do is climb one of these trees and float over to the jiggy Finally 
going to use this carpet you might have seen floating around over here. That one right there is going to come around. It's going to stop at the Sphinx. And then it's going to come to this location, which is where we will jump on. And it will take us all the way over to this little secret area. It has a few notes. And Gobi again. Jump on his back one more time. And he'll spit up the extra honeycomb. And so now it's time to take to the skies. Patiently wait for the carpet and disembark when it reaches the Sphinx. And let's climb back up to his back where there is this flight pad. And we're gonna fly through these Sphinx rings. dive bomb through them if you want, but you don't have to. Next one's over here. That one's back behind the Sphinx, but before I head that way, let's come get this extra honeycomb. Which is not the easiest one in the world, because you have to very carefully avoid the spikes on the inside of it. But once you do, you get a new extra honeycomb added to your max life total. Now, there's still a few more worlds, and in fact there's still six more extra honeycombs, but... Eight is actually the maximum life total you can get. When you get the other six extra honeycombs, it'll trigger the animation, but you will not get any more life added to yours. I don't know if this was a mistake or they just added some extra honeycombs so that you didn't weren't required to get every single one of them. But anyway, uh, there's an achievement for getting all the honeycombs, regardless of how much health you have, so we're going to be getting them all either way. Going through all the rings gets you this jiggy, but before you fly over there, there's one more thing we want to do, which is dive bomb this target. That will open up the door, and you have 20 seconds to get in, so immediately head downward. Climb on in. And here you've got the last notes you want. A mumbo token. And a little game. So the goal is to poop eggs into this little rotating basket, and the basket will speed up every time you land one. After so many eggs, you activate the snake and you can climb up its neck and high jump to get the jiggy.
all that's left is to get the last jiggy that appeared on top of the Sphinx. And we will be done with Gobi's Valley. So, with all that done, let's boogie on out of here. We can use the galoshes to safely get back across. I like to go ahead and take care of this mummy because he's going to get in the way of getting the next jiggy. But you want to use the jump pad to jump and get. Alright. So, go back to this room and we're going to activate the other note door that we could not access earlier. Immediately dive down and swim into the next room. And there's a mumbo token in the corner here. Then we're gonna come back. Watch out for the giant fish, and we're gonna swim into the next room. Swim all the way across, again being careful of the giant piranha. And we're gonna do the jump out and jump back trick to climb these little holes. And find our next painting. Mad Monster Mansion. If you want, I suggest you jump past the next one to get the mumbo token behind this whiplash. And then dive immediately underneath you to return to the previous room. Swim straight through here. And exit through the platform on the right to make it back to the Gruntilda room. Into the Gruntilda head. And we're back in the lava room that contained the Gobi's Valley painting. Which we are now going to walk straight past. Be careful you don't fall in the lava here. And before going into the next room, we want to tackle this very thin walkway. A 
very slowly. To reach a new Brintilda. After talking to Brintilda, we're gonna slowly leave the way we came back. Into the graveyard. And we have a couple of secrets. Namely, another Brintilda behind this tombstone. Once you're done with this one, make sure you go past the mansion entrance and break this gate. It's extremely important that you do that before entering the mansion unless you want to have to make two trips. So with that, we're going to enter and do the next level next time. Until then, stay safe.